Greetings again from sunny North Wales. Uh, this is an update, I think this will be part three, I think it is, could be wrong, uh, on what I've achieved up to now in way of putting this um, easy steer system on. Um, I've had a few issues, like you'd expect, but uh, let's get into it. Spline tube on. And concentric. Nice. All right, that's the uh, shaft in. One issue. You can see that, you can't, can you? There it is. It's in. What I've got to do now is put some form of stop here. That's the easy steer tube that's welded onto the shaft, the existing TR7 shaft. Uh, there, sorry. And what usually happens is there is a, a little, I'll show you in a minute. What it does, it prevents that happening. Which is a bit of a pain. This is the uh, what's usually on that shaft, and it just bolts up. There's a cutout in the shaft where the bolt goes through just to locate it, and that just uh, prevents that from moving backwards and forwards. So that's the uh, gearbox in situ now. Clears the pedals, and there's enough clearance here for when the, the motor goes on. There'll be plenty of space over there, and I can mount the that box here. I did put the, uh, the mounting bracket on and what I'm thinking of doing is welding a plate from here, can't even see that, to here. There will be a mounting plate from there to there just to stop this from turning so uh, that's how it is. The issue I have at the moment is, honestly, you need a degree in gynaecology to fit this thing. Right, the issue is, um, that's the end of the spline shaft. There should be a universal joint here, and that's the pickup piece for the spline shaft that attaches to uh, the shaft that runs down to the rack. I'm thinking, that's the line that was indicated, because I've probably welded it too far down there, as in forward, um, I might have to trim this one back to fit um, the spline, uh, the universal coupling in. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of a fit up and see how that goes. Now at the moment, as a minimum, minimum, I need to achieve 270 millimetres. This connects onto the existing shaft, which goes onto the uh, the rack. This is all part of the easy steer, that universal joint. This tube, which fits through the uh, bulkhead. This spline shaft, which I, I did cut. So that moves like that. And this end fits on the end of that gearbox. So between there and there, I need 270 millimeters. So it's looking like I'm going to have to cut the spline shaft that comes out of the gearbox. I'll have a little uh, think about that. Blinking neck, this has been in and out like a blinking fiddler's elbow. That is the setup as it should sit. That's obviously the tube that goes through the firewall. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side in the footwell. That's the setup as you've just seen, and this is probably the overlap at the moment, and I've got to fit that in there. I can't move that any further back as that's fixed because of the uh, the steering shaft. 
and I can't really cut that, the tube that comes through the bulkhead where the, uh, the bush is going to go. So it looks like I could actually reduce that distance and this distance. This spline goes all the way up this tube here so I can relieve that and then slot this on. Oh, <laughs> scary, isn't it? Now there, sort of a five millimeter crossing. That's as it sits through and that's, I can't even reach down there, but that looks about five millimeters minus overlap. So I'm gonna have to achieve that initial dimension. Was it 270? By cutting, oh, I can't even reach it. I'll pull it out and show you. As you can see, the ideal gap between the end of the spline shaft that runs up to the gearbox and the spline shaft which runs down to the shaft which runs down to the steering rack is 50 millimetres. Um, so hopefully I will be able to get 50 millimetres between that spline shaft and this spline shaft. So I'm going to fit it up now and see what I can achieve. Huh. Well, after much cutting, it's in. I think I might have a clearance issue there. And that's all because I've welded this. About 20 mil, I should have cut that. So it would have pulled the whole lot back, but everything clears. I might have to do a bit of customization on that. If that's what I was looking at. No. Down there. So I might have to just ease that over a bit. And then I'll tack weld that spine shaft into the penetration piece. Um, but the, the, the bush should fit. It's all on anyway. Uh, it's just a matter of making up a couple of, or a bracket for this to stop any rotation there. Oh, what a room, I'm shattered. So mechanically the, the easy stays in, so it's a matter of uh, wiring things up. Um, and I'll have a go at that tomorrow. Just sort of final fitment before I put that boss in the bulkhead, uh, which should have come yesterday. Uh, yay ho, never mind. Um, Tatty Bye from Surrey North Wales. Uh, if you can give us a like and comment if you want any questions, <laughs> we'll find out how to do it properly and subscribe. That'd be cool. Right, tatty bye.